Hello everyone and welcome to GFTL. Today I'm looking at a game called Trainsported, which is pretty amazing. I spent most of yesterday not working and actually playing this. It's a game that intends to teach you the LUA scripting language, as well as some um, common uh, methods of dealing with uh, scripting AI. Before I played this, the only uh, language I'd scripted in was JavaScript, uh, and now I know a little LUA, which I'm going to show you on the first challenge. I also didn't know very much about uh, AI, but uh, now I, I know a very minimal amount about AI. So we start off with a train track. Um, this is the map, this is where the train goes, obviously, and these are the little people and the blue lines show you where they want to go. Your job is to get them there as quickly and efficiently as possible by scripting the trains and their routes and their behaviours to make sure that they get there fast and they pick up people and they don't get stuck, because I've managed to make that happen before. There's also a grid system. Uh, I'll probably start off there. So, we have 180 seconds to get uh, how many passengers? The passengers. So I'm assuming that's these four here. What we're going to do is switch to this, which is basically just a text document because I haven't downloaded any LUA scripting text things. I've just got Notepad. That's all it is. Um, and what I'm going to do is start by uh, declaring a function. Function. Uh, and the game has its own set of uh, of uh, functions that you can use. Uh, what should I buy? Train. And where will I place the train? I will place it at one one. Uh, end. And that, what that will do is on init, which is initiation, which is when I start this program because there's a reload button there, and it uh, starts the thing again. It will buy my train and it will put it in the top left corner there. I don't know if you can see my mouse, I just realized that. Uh, anyway, but 1-1, one, one, top left corner. Makes sense, right? Map coordinates. Uh, and trains cost money. Obviously you buy the trains. Uh, delivering passages gets you money, so if I have enough money, so the function uh, AI. Enough. Munji. Enough money. Buy. Train. Uh, and the same place again. Um, oh. What that will do is buy a train when I have enough money. Simple as that. Uh, it's pretty clever stuff. <laughs> Not really. I'm. I'm I'm saying silly things now. So, the important bit is that once we... Let me show you what will happen. I will save this, control S, reload, and look, it buys a train. And the train isn't scripted to pick up any passengers, so, what's, so what it's going to do is just go around in a circle, because what we have to deal with next is this junction. Uh, this junction... Uh, has its own function associated with it, which is uh, a return of north going up, uh, east, west, south, you know what I mean, uh, up, down, left, right, and you have to decide under certain situations which way your train goes using an if, um, uh, I, I don't know what it's called, but it, it, the, func the thing is called if. I, I sound silly blathering on like this, but we use an if to make sure that it goes in the right direction. Uh, as you can tell, I am not a programmer. So we'll start off with function if, uh, what is it for the junctions? Choose direction. Um, and we have to put in some arguments here, train. Passenger. Oh no, train direction. That's the one. Train directions. 
See, scripts are very particular about exactly what you put through them, and uh, they don't recognize spelling mistakes, unfortunately. If passenger equals nil, which means if the train does not have a passenger in it, uh, then, oh, then uh, return, uh, which if it doesn't have a passenger in it, we want it to go west, because the passengers are to the west of the map, which means any time it doesn't have a passenger, it'll just move to the west side of the map whenever it can, using the junctions. Turn west. Simple. And else, um, return east, I think. Well, let's try that for now. There's, it's an iterative process of making sure things work. End. And end. I think that's it for that. Yes, because all of the destinations are on the east side of the map. So moving them. I failed. Oh, I, I wasted lots of time. There is a time limit to this. Never mind, we can reload, start again. Um, and it will go east, or if it can't go east, because if it's obviously coming from the east, it will go, it will default to north, which is part of the function that we call. Now we have to tell it to pick up people. Um, so, function AI found Passenger, and more um, things to pass through this train. Uh, passengers. Now the passengers are listed in a, a, a list or array, and you can choose through them uh, using that array. But to be honest, I don't think we'll need to do that. I think we just need to pick them up. So instead of using an if, we can just go return passenger. And then this is the first per passenger in that list, passenger one, end. So it's just going to pick up any passenger it finds when it's found it. Um, then what? Hmm. And then, oh yes, we need to, to drop them off. So, function AI f uh, found destination um, train drop passenger typing and talking at the same time, is particularly difficult for me. I don't know why, but I'm very derpy. So, save that. And... I think... That is a very, very basic um, script using the minimum of uh, AI. So the, the, m the most advanced bit here is this. So it choose at the junction when it comes to a junction if it has a passenger in it or if it doesn't have a passenger in it it will go west if it does it will go east that's the most advanced decision that we've made in this this thing but I'm, I'm just showing you what this thing can do and so let's see if it actually works so passengers should spawn um, find a passenger please oh there we go and it was already going north. So hopefully we should speed this up and see if it actually drops off the person. Oh yeah, it chose the direction east and it dropped them off. And it found found a passenger. It's going east. And it dropped them off. Marvellous. And then all four people 
There you go. And challenge completed. Um, that was the single worst bit of scripting I have ever done. So I'm sorry if you know anything about programming or anything like that. I apologize. But if you do not, and you wish to learn more about the LUA scripting interface thingy, grammar, and all, all that jazz, I highly recommend this program. It has, I'm going to end this match, uh, leave current match, it has live challenges between different scripts um, for the for the advanced players. It, uh, main server? Ah. Well, it can't connect right now. Uh, oh dear, I think I might have crashed it. It, oh yeah, it's not responding, damn. Well, sorry about that. It also has a tutorial which is very um, basic. It doesn't teach you much apart from the if, the functions, um, and the different things that you can pass through them and returning them and, and the grammar, the very basics of how to use LUA in an enjoyable um, form. I'd never used LUA before this and now I know the basics and it's all thanks to this program. So I've forgotten who made this, but I shall put their name in the description along with links where you can download it. There is also the source code, which I believe was made in LUA as well. So you can find the game there, and if you want to mess around with the game, there's also the source code available for that. So thank you for watching, check out this game, and goodbye!